this brochure. Synthetic. Need some water. Hi y'all, I'm back and we have managed to get acrylic paint on almost all of it. Anyway, we still have to do the teeth and uh, there's a few areas I want to fix up a little bit. But uh, we're going to have those lips ready to put some oil on them and really bring them to life. Okay? And I've decided I really like the gray instead of the flesh tone. Because it kind of looks like you know that that funky pop art now, but I'm gonna uh, I think I'm gonna leave it that way instead of putting the flesh tone on. Anyway, let's get let's get started. Uh, and by the way, just to let y'all know, in this uh, acrylic, I've used white, I've used uh, paroli red, and cadmium red deep hue. Okay. Three colors. And black, of course. Black for the inside of the mouth there. But, uh, we're going to finish off these lips and get them get them ready for some oil paint. And the, the great thing about acrylics is, first off, it's locked in the charcoal, right? It's not going to smear or, or move around anymore. And it's ready for the oil paint to be painted over top of it, where the oil paint may have mixed with it and then yeah, you know, I, I, I just wouldn't trust it. So, you know, I, I don't know whether, you know, some of the, the black in the oil, in the charcoal would, you know, come off over time, you know, in the oil paint. But right now, with the uh, acrylic, you can see it's absolutely dry, and it's locked in that charcoal, so it's not going to smear anymore on the, on the canvas. So, now up here, that's different. See, I can still smear that. I got it on my finger, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna paint over these these teeth, which will lock in the charcoal. So let's get at it. All right, wet my brush. Get a handy dandy paper towel. Always have a paper towel in your left hand if you're right-handed. You know, if you're right-handed, use your left hand. Then I'm gonna get some white paint, just straight up white, because that charcoal is gonna blend in with it and leave that shadow, which, you know, you can't see it real well on, on the two front teeth, but you can see the shadow here and the shadow here on the uh, little side teeth there. And if I need be, I'm going to mix some black with it. But what I also noticed is, it's a crazy thing how I got this, this uh, 
this picture. It was on Pixity. And it was a woman's mouth. It was a woman. And I zoomed in on it, cropped it out, and then I had to rotate it to where I wanted it because the, it was kind of sideways, you know? So I rotated it. And it appears that her teeth are not lined up with her lips, hardly at all. So what I'm going to do is probably move her teeth over just a little bit to where it looks a little more, a little more straightforward, if that makes any sense. But that's just my own personal preference. You know, I mean, you can paint it as is or what, however you want, but we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done right now. And of course, there's, there's a little gap right there that comes down, it comes down right there like that, and then over. And see, I mean, I've already had my coffee this morning, I don't know if you can tell, but I had my coffee, so therefore I'm a little, a little shaky. But we want this line just as straight as straight can be, because that's how our teeth are. So I'm going to have to go back over that with the black. I went a little too far. So I'm going to move. Probably going to move this tooth over to about right there. Let's see, I can use paint to, to make those lines. Just a touch of light. And since it's since it's dry, I can actually rest my my hand on here to make this long. This with you know, I tell y'all I can't paint and talk at the same time. <coughs> I have troubles painting and talking at the same time. But now this tooth may be a little bit bigger than what it should be. But we can fix that too with the black. Okay. okay, we're just gonna take out this corner right here.
And actually that one's shorter than what I painted it here, so we have to fix that. All right, now we're going to make this line. This line's going to go up a bit. Come out right there. So we're going to do everything over. I'd like to say that nobody has super white teeth. But these days, everybody has super white teeth. start paying for the oil, we'll get, we'll get some better details in the
always good to stand back and check the weather. This one's an angle brush, as you can see. And that way I can get in the cracks and crevices and get in the detail. Matter of fact, it's, a, uh, it's an angle braid. And it's a Aspen Princeton brush. So, it's a level two. Bought it at Michael's. Still has the tag on it, see? Anyway, uh, so we're going to put some black on that brush. We're going to come over here and we're going to see how that looks right there. I'm going to shorten it too quick. short enough. I think it needs to go a little bit shorter. What do you think? We're looking at, we're looking at this tooth right here and compared to this one, it seems a little, a little bit shorter. So, we're going to bring it out. There we go. Oop, we're going to bring it out. That's what we're going to do. Between that tooth goes up a bit, so we're going to put that gap in there. Okay, so we're putting this gap.
Oh, yeah, I think we got the line up there. It's a little more pronounced than what I'd like, but we're good with that right now. Okay, so now we're going to move over here with that line right there. I should probably use instead of black, maybe a burnt umber or. Let's use some burnt umber and maybe a white mixture. So I'm going to use some burnt umber. I don't think we need that much. And I think we're going to use a liner brush to do this. You can see that, that line there is not that prominent. So even though we're you know still just putting in the detail, I mean, it's not putting in the detail until we get to the quill paint. I just kind of kind of like to know where I'm where I'm working at right here. Okay, now if we look at the picture, that lines right up with that, but I don't. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it line up with that. So I'm going to go a little bit over. So these teeth are about the same width, which we could get our uh, we could get our. Uh, proportional divider out and measure you use a ruler but you can get a proportional divider out and measure okay each tooth so let's say we go about right here right here to right here now that doesn't seem logical does it how about we go right there to right there and see that would mean bring that tooth over so maybe we had it right in the first place. Yeah, yeah, it was about right in the first place. For some reason, it just, I mean, it looks right when you stand over here and look at it. But when you're standing over here, it just doesn't look right. So it's one of those optical illusion things. But we're still going to bring it over just a little bit. Because we're going we're gonna to bring this tooth over too. So we're just going to bring it over just a little bit. That is now where that is now where the sun is. Well, that's not the exact straight line, but we got room to work with it. Stand straight in front of it. Sorry, y'all, for the back of my head. Okay, now I'm gonna go back over that. There's some white right here, so we put our straight line. through an ugly stage to where you're like, oh my god, what have I done? And then it starts coming together again. Alright. That's about that's about as straight as we can get. Okay, so now we're gonna move over here and put Alright, we're going to move over here and put this new line right over here. Now we move this one over about yeah, a yeah, quarter of an inch or so. So we're going to move that one over a quarter of an inch or so. Like I said, we're going to put our detail in, in the end. 
And then if that's the case, then this one moves over. It's right there. So. So this one's a little darker, so we're just going to make Okay, so now we're going to stand back and look at that again and make sure that we got it where we want it. Yeah, I think that looks much better. Okay. Much, much better. Okay. to this. All right, so what we're going to do is make this Alright, so now we're going to get our little liner brush and we're going to get it the black. I'm not sure if I should even be using the liner brush for this, so I think maybe um, another brush would work. shorten this too because it's about the same height as the other ones.
this other brush. It's a little bit too. It is a little bit more suitable for these little tight areas. And then, and then get closer to the line because if you go up there with a whole bunch of paint on your paintbrush, it's going to leave a, a definite line. And I don't have a lot of paint on the paintbrush. You know. So it's like I put this down here, right? And then I'll pour it. Now, there was another spot on here where I wasn't real happy with, and that was this little pop here. So I'm going to try to take out the top there, because I'm not doing it. It doesn't match up with my lips up there. So, so we're going to fix that real quick. And see the thing about this <clears throat> being acrylic and oil is like if there's something that we're really satisfied with, say the, the blackness of the inside of the mouth, I don't have to go over that in oil. It, it's not necessary. But if I wanted to, I could. And see, here's a spot where the red is kind of encroached on the black, just a little bit. Kind of clean that up. And then just come back and clean some spots up because you know it's what nice in the end. You know, it's a little bit amateurish. Alright, so what do y'all think? <clears throat> now there's part of me that sees a little bit of red, just a little bit, where the tongue is. I mean, I can see it in the photo. So what I'm going to do 
just put some of this uh, cad cadmium red DQ. Right? And I'm gonna get just a touch of that and some black. And maybe some burn over. And I'll mix that all together. And it's gonna be like a real It's a black with a red undertone, maybe. Is that, is that what I'm thinking here? Now, see, that's a little too red. I don't care for that. Maybe I'm going to go with it. We're going to put it on a little bit of paint and grab this thing. A little bit darker color. And I only see it right, right there in the middle. I don't really see it anywhere else. I'm going to go a little bit darker. So now it's like, it was just a hint, just a hint. Once that dries, you probably won't be able to see it. I'm <laughs> just saying. But I know it's there. I know it's there. I feel better about it. Anyway, so I think we're about ready to uh, let that dry. Give it a few minutes. It'll be dry to the touch. And now we're going to start with the oils. Let me look at it again one more time. Make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be ready to start with the oils. Looks good to me. I think I need to... No, no, no. I'm going to leave alone. I'm going to leave alone. No, I'm not. <laughs> I say I'm going to leave alone. I'm not going to leave alone. When I, when I see something, I, I got to fix. I got to fix it, right? So, here it is right here. Okay. <clears throat> Step back and look at it. Okay. I'm feeling better about it. Yeah. Yeah. Now this over here, it goes down. This is rather dark right here.
crumble on and scramble on some paint right there. still some good. Alright. So. Alright. I'm going to leave it alone and let it dry. Leave it alone and let it dry. Yes, I am. I think, I think we've got it. I think we've got it to where we want it. And, uh. Yeah, we can get all the details in it as we put the oil on it. So, we're going to stop for now and let that dry and see you next week when we put oil on it. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.